Hello world, it is Saturday, April 17th, 2021, and today it's sunny. It's still cool. It's in the 40s already, but I think it's going to be near 50 again today. Another gorgeous day to get outside and do some work or just enjoy yourself. Maybe read a book out in the sunshine. Today's devotion is Stuck in the Kitchen by Tina Villa. Tina bases the devotion on Matthew chapter 20, verse 26 through 27, New Revised Standard Version. Whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. And Tina wrote, Before I had my own family <clears throat> and a fixed, <clears throat> excuse me, a fixed address, a house, dining room table, I was always a guest at someone else's house for the holidays. Somebody else made all the invisible preparations, whether whatever they were, and all I had to do was show up and eat. I would sometimes feel a little sorry for whoever was stuck in the kitchen, but that feeling passed. Then one day it started to be me who was stuck in the kitchen. I hated this. It made me feel like a servant. I could hear people talking and laughing in the other room, probably spilling things I'd have to clean up later. I felt excluded and taken for granted, a martyr to everyone else's good time. But somehow over the years, I gradually stopped feeling like a servant, even though I was still doing all the same things. No sermon or advice about responsibility for my elders would have worked this magic. It was only doing it over and over and over again, year after year, that turn, turned to being a servant into something I didn't mind being. I think of this as a non-divine example, a humble illustration for the rest of us of what Jesus meant about being a servant to great. How can you be first and a slave at the same time, great and also a servant? I don't know, but as usual, Jesus is right. Dear God, help me question all my resentments and remember, nobody likes a martyr. Amen. When I read this devotion, the thing that struck me is that... Um, I like being in the kitchen. <laughs> so when there is a, an event or a party or we're having people over, I like being in the kitchen. And I, I, I guess I appreciate um, two things. One is that uh, people enjoy what I cook and what I prepare. And it's fun to have people together over a meal, um, talking and laughing and enjoying the food and enjoying each other's company. And I look forward to the time where we can do that again real, um, safely in this time of the pandemic. Um, but the other thing, aspect of it is, is I'm not a big crowds person. And sometimes the kitchen is a quiet place away from the crowd, too. So if I'm honest, um, sometimes I just like to be away when there is a large group over as well. So, um, but I think... Um, that may not be the point of the devotion, but that was how it, it struck me. But I do think uh, there is a point in which that if we do everything for ourselves, we aren't being a servant in the sense of what Christ talked about. Um, it's really about for, for and about other people and um, kind of treating the others, others as the divine beings that they are, created in God's image, just as we are. Hope you have a good day. I hope you'll join us for worship tomorrow, Sunday. We're doing in-person and live. We're watching closely the um, number of cases in Defiance County. It's not looking good because we seem to be going in the wrong direction, so we'll have to see if we have to reevaluate next week. But... Um, so far, we're going to be in person, and we'll also be on Facebook Live tomorrow. Take care. Hope you have a good day.